The shooter aims with the help of rear and front sight. The sight leaf, which represents the rear sight, is available in 800 and 1,000 meter versions. The maximum effective range is between 300 and 400 meters. The standard magazine has 30 rounds and is curved. The magazine can be removed via the magazine catch. Originally, the AK-47 used M43 cartridges equipped with burden primers. Detailed information on cartridges can be found in the corresponding animation in this channel. The safety lever is used to make the firearm safe. Loading the weapon is not possible in this position. The safety lever allows the shooter to choose between semi-automatic and fully automatic firing mode. In the middle position, the safety lever blocks the disconnector. In the uppermost position, trigger and disconnector are blocked. In the lowest position, trigger and disconnector can move freely. As soon as the trigger is pressed, the hammer is released. The disconnector catches the hammer after firing. The trigger must be released before another shot can be fired. The hammer is then immediately caught by the trigger and the gun is ready to fire again. In fully automatic firing mode, the hammer can move freely until the trigger is released. AK-47 and AKM are assault rifles with a rotating bolt locking mechanism. Here, the bolt rotates to lock and unlock via two locking lugs. The firing pin can slide back and forth within the bolt. The retaining pin prevents the firing pin from sliding too far backwards. The front trunnion connects the barrel and the receiver. It has recesses for the bolt's locking lugs. The contact points are marked in red. When the bolt rotates, it is unlocked so that it can slide back and forth. The bolt is rotated through the cam guide machined into the underside of the bolt carrier marked red here. As soon as the bolt carrier moves, the bolt rotates. Let's take a look at what happens when the trigger is pressed. The hammer is released, which drives the firing pin against the primer of the cartridge. The propellant is ignited, accelerating the bullet. The gas piston is pushed back by gas pressure. That is why this type of reloading is called gas-operated reloading. Let's have another look at it. The gas piston is connected to the bolt carrier, so the bolt carrier is pushed back, unlocking the bolt and moving it backwards. With the help of the extractor, the bolt locks the case and ejects it through the ejector. The hammer has been pushed down by the bolt carrier and is then caught by the disconnector. The tensioned recoil spring pushes the bolt carrier forward. This causes the bolt to feed a new cartridge into the chamber. Finally, the bolt is locked. As soon as the trigger is released, the rifle is ready to fire again. In fully automatic mode, the auto sear comes into play. The auto sear makes sure that the breech is locked before the hammer depresses the firing pin. The auto sear is tripped by the bolt carrier. The AKM was equipped with a muzzle brake 
Gas pressure coming from the barrel pushes the weapon down to the left, preventing unwanted rising of the barrel. Subscribe now and never miss a new animation.